Hello guys, Super Nerd again here with another video. Today I'm really excited because I've got three masks that I've been meaning to review. I've been meaning to pick them up. I just finally got the chance to pick them up. Uh, and they're the Halloween 3 season of the Witch Mask. I'm going to be reviewing all three of them in separate videos. That way if you're only interested in seeing a review of one, you can watch that video, or if you want to see all three, you can just marathon through all three videos. And then I'm also going to review my Michael Myers 78 mask I got a while back. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and review my Halloween 3 Season of the Witch mask. Now, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch is my favorite Halloween sequel. It doesn't have Michael Myers. It doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the franchise. It doesn't... It's not even in the same canon, but I, uh, it's not in the, even though there are different Halloween timelines, you know, there's Halloween 1 through 6, and then the Halloween H2O Resurrection timeline, and then the Halloween 2018 Onward timeline, but this one's in its, was its own separate thing, didn't have anything to do with Michael Myers, and some people didn't like it because of that, because they, apparently marketing... At the time, didn't do a good job of explaining, yo, this film is a, a, about Michael Myers, so people didn't know. They went in there expecting Michael and got disappointed. But I knew before going into this film that it wasn't about Michael Myers and a very general plot of it. And it ended up being my favorite of the series, you know, or my second favorite of the series right after the original, my favorite of the sequels. And this is a really cool mask. Now, I have seen a couple different copies of this mask online. And some of them look like a really uh, reddish orange, which is very inaccurate. And it doesn't look good. But I think, based on the uploads of those videos, those are early copies. Uh, for example, if you watch the review spot, he talks about the color and how it's off and stuff. It seems like newer copies of this mask don't have that problem. The mask looks, you know, very orange on video. It actually looks a lot brighter. It looks more like a day glow. Not as bright as the day glow in the films, but they, Trick or Treat Studios definitely got better at painting these masks. It looks really good. I'm very happy with the color. Uh, here's the tag. It says Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. And it's got care instructions and safety instructions, which I recommend reading this, you know, because this will make it where your mask actually lasts if you follow the instructions. And, you know, it's Trick or Treat Studios, sculpted by Justin M Mabry. I hope I pronounced your last name wrong, Justin. I'm sorry, that's probably a little disrespectful to pronounce it wrong, but I tried my best, so. And this mask is really good. The sculpt's very good. It looks just like the mask from the film. Now, there is one thing. The original Dawn Post mask had, like, black mesh in the eyes and the mouth, you know, sort of like they use on Ghostface masks. And at first, I misremembered thinking that that was accurate, and that's how it was supposed to be. But before this review, I went back and watched Halloween 3 Seasons of the Witch. I paid attention to the eye holes and the mouth holes. It does look like in the background they have mesh on the eyes and the mouth. But it does seem like most of the close-up shots of the mask, like when somebody's holding a mask or something, they don't have the mesh. So this is can be, depending on how you look at it, more accurate or less accurate. Now, it does seem like there are there is one shot from what I could tell where it's a close-up shot and it does have mesh, but I could be mistaken because the scene where the child is wearing the mask, I forget the kid's name or the character's name, but and he dies. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about, but it seems like before he puts the mask on, before it starts melting, it has mesh. And afterwards, when it cuts back to it melting, it seems like it doesn't have mesh. Now, I don't know if that's just the lighting in the scene, because it could, it looks like it could just be the shadows, but anyways, I believe this is accurate, 
Plus, you're never going to get really 100% accurate unless you have an original mask. Uh, but I'm very happy with it. I don't care that it doesn't have the mesh holes. If it bothers you, you can get mesh and put it in yourself. The only problem I have with this mask, and it just a little detail, it has this little silver shamrock. The only problem I have with this mask is instead of being metal, it's plastic and it's it's plastic and it's got a metallic sticker on it instead of it just being completely metal. I'm sorry if that's a weird edit. My phone died halfway through that sentence, but yeah. That's the only thing that feels a little cheap to me that they did that. I would have preferred that even if they couldn't get as thick as they did, because it is accurate for it to be a thicker tag like this, I would have preferred maybe use a thinner material and have it be completely metal. So that is something to keep in mind if like it's Halloween and it's sort of raining out, I'd be scared that it would damage the sticker on this. But, you know, for what it is, it looks really well, especially if you're just displaying this mask. But yeah, this mask, I got a great copy of this mask. Now, when I review my Michael Meyer 78 mask, I'm going to mention that it would that mask would be a 10 out of 10 if I got a good copy, but my copy is not the best in the world. But this mask is a 10 out of 10. I got a great copy. So that makes this mask a 10 out of 10. I totally recommend this. If you can get your hands on one, I would definitely do it if you like Halloween 3. If you just want a general Halloween mask, because it looks very Halloween-y, it's if you just want a good pumpkin mask. And another thing is you don't really need to stuff this mask. Some masks you need to stuff if you're displaying them or get a mask stand. This mask, as it's sort of rounded, will just stay up on your own. Or on its own, you know? Uh, when I was a kid, I used to have a pumpkin mask. Not a Halloween 3 pumpkin mask, but it was a general pumpkin mask. And it kind of did that too. It was a round shape also, so I guess maybe that's something the latex pumpkin masks have in common. Overhead masks that they can stand up on their own. But yeah, it's pretty great. 10 out of 10. Totally recommend it.